Hey, 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 first look at the uh, Earthquake XT half-inch drive ultra compact. Now, this is supposed to have 700 foot-pounds of torque. That's nice. Okay. <clears throat> Smaller than a standard full-size. Uh, you are going to give up some... Uh, Torque, but that's fine as long as it can still perform the job. Okay? Now, uh, we're going to be doing a lot with this over the next year, and we're going to find out will it handle? What can it do? will it not do and then just like the craftsman we're gonna I'm gonna tell you about it and we're gonna look back and see if it's a good buy or not so <clears throat> first off I got this on the sale uh, Friday March 27th 2020 for ninety two dollars so Got it on sale. Let's uh, open her up and see what the heck's going on. Instructions. That, that's nice. It comes with oil for you. So, if you don't have other air tools, uh, it's comes with it. Uh, air tool oil. It might also be a breaking oil, but. Uh, Okay. Mm. Oh, they've got it twist tied to the back here. So, yay. Ah, come. come on, come on. And yes, Harbor Freight is still open through the coronavirus. Uh, they do ask, though, that you step back away from the checkout. <sighs> Comes in a nice bag. All right. It's actually not a bad bag. Now, <clears throat> it does not come with its own fitting. Kind of figured that. So, make sure that when you buy it, pick up your fitting at the same time. So you don't have to make a second trip over there. Okay. It's got power settings on the fly right here on the adjuster nice big heavy that is a cast piece of metal that is not injection molded that does not appear to be injection molded so that is actually nice because especially when you got something right here and you're trying to loosen it up well and if you back yourself into that corner you can flip the lever and run it back in or 
uh, you know, it, it, it's all about preference, folks. On certain things, you're going to want it on the back. On uh, certain things, you're going to want it on the front. On this type of a tool, I would want it on the front, and that's where they put it. Uh, Chicago Pneumatics, this I'll have it on the front as well. And uh, if I wasn't at the Harbor Freight today, I probably would have bought the Chicago Pneumatic. But I was looking at this already, and I was already comparing it to the Chicago Pneumatic, and I was kind of, let's pull the trigger on this today, and we're going to test this, like I said. Now, compare that to my main Chicago Pneumatic. I mean, the rotor housing and control knob at the back is the same size as the entire impact. I mean, okay, let, let's go down my DeWilt 3 8 drive. Folks, I mean, we're starting to get into the hammer housing on this, but... And then, let's compare it to a battery-powered tool. I know this isn't the best to use, but... Yeah, I mean... The actual electric motor and gear train housing is is actually the same size as the unit. So, make sure that you pick up Teflon tape. If you don't have Teflon tape, make sure you pick up your fittings. If you don't have fittings. Uh, folks, this is light. The box actually makes it feel heavier than what it is. Uh, Compare it to the 3 8 Actually, I think my 3 8 here is more. And, uh, folks, this is only rated for 300 foot pounds. This is rated for 700. So, I mean, okay, give it a grain of salt. Uh, even if you lob the numbers in half, this is 350, this is 150. And this doesn't have the maneuverability of this. So, uh, just keep that in mind. Now, the one thing that I do notice that the Earthquake does not have that both my DeWalt, my Electric Bosch, and my Chicago Nomadic do not that they have is they have the rubber over molding. Now, for a lot of people, they don't really care, but for some of us out there, we do care, especially when we're doing this number all day. So, We're going to test this, and we're going to see how it fares. Uh, please, put your comments down now. So, thought I'd just make a video for you today. And since I was at the Harbor Freight and got this, I'm like, yep, this is going to be the next tool for the torture test, the year-long torture test. So... Put your comments in now, and we'll see how it goes after a year. And subscribe so that you can not miss the year end on that. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.